Hello differential diagnosis students. Um, this is Dr. Kamla and this is a new question of the MBT style questions. So let's see what is today's question is about. Okay. A physical therapist reviews the results of uh, recent laboratory testing before treating a patient. A note in the medical record indicates that the patient was dehydrated at the time the blood sample was taken. Which of the following findings would be the most likely based on the patient's hydration status? Okay, so here we have a patient who is dehydrated or she is dehydrated and we are reviewing the laboratory work for uh, the patient and we have four things to look at coagulation time which usually is presented by uh, uh, blue thrombin time bt and btt partial thromboblastin time hematocrit level which is uh, uh, blood red blood cell mass after you have you are taking um, fluids and the other cells within the blood. Blood urea nitrogen level, which is usually an indication of the kidney function. And hemoglobin level, uh, you know, and which is also connected with hematocrit level. So, which one we are expecting to be increased or to, uh, you know, uh, increased? Which one of these? So, the correct answer is increased blood urea nitrogen level. So, but why that? Blood urea nitrogen test measures the amount of nitrogen in blood that comes from the waste product urea. And urea is made when protein is broken down in the body. Okay. So, a blood urea nitrogen test is performed to assist mainly kidney function, as I just said. An increase in blood urea nitrogen level can be indicative of dehydration, renal failure, or heart failure. So, what is a normal value usually for normal blood urea nitrogen? It is 10 to 20 milligram per deciliter in adults. So if it is above that, you would expect that increase in blood urea nitrogen. And this could be associated as in this case with dehydration. Okay, let's look at other options. Um, coagulation time is usually uh, tested by, as I just said, prothrombin time, BT, partial thromboblastin time, BTT. And if... Uh, Usually, this coagulation time is not related actually to if uh, to the status of hydration or dehydration. So, it, it has nothing to do with with the hydration state. Uh, so, but in in case of increased coagulation time, indicates an increased time to form a blood clot. And as I just said, neither test is affected by hydration status. Hematocrit level. This is a percentage of red blood cell uh, in a volume of blood, okay? Uh, and, you know, it, it has different values for, for males and females, uh, as I, I explained in the lecture. Hematocrit may be increased when the body water content is decreased in case of dehydration. So it would be increased, not decreased. Also, if there is diarrhea, vomiting, excessive sweating, severe burns, and use of diuretics. Why we use diuretics? We use diuretics mainly uh, in case of hypertension, congestive heart failure, and so on. Let's look at option number four, why it is incorrect. Hemoglobin is the iron-containing molecule of red blood cells that binds with oxygen. A low hemoglobin level is uh, in indicative of anemia and suggests the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood is decreased. Hemoglobin may be increased in case of dehydration or increase the body's water content. Again, in diarrhea, vomiting, excessive sweating, severe burden, and use of diuretics. So, 
Here, coagulation time will not be affected by hydration status. Hematocrit level and hemoglobin will be increased in case of dehydration, and blood urea and nitrogen level will be uh, increased in case of uh, dehydration. So this is a correct answer. Thanks so much, and see you in another question soon.